Right now, I'm going to show you how to combine images in Photoshop, then I'm going to show you three different ways to merge them. To get the images in, just choose File Open. I'm going to show you two methods to combine these. The first one is the simplest. Just click and drag up into the tab. I haven't let go yet. Hold down the Shift key to center it, release. And if we look in the Layers panel, you can see I've combined the two images. Let me show you a second way of doing this. This works on Mac and Windows. Go up under Window and then change a range. And then under Range, let's just go to Tile. You'll now see the two side by side. And we can click and drag from one into the other. Now you might wonder, why don't you copy paste? Well, the reason I don't copy paste is because that puts it into the clipboard and then that takes up memory. If I go in here and I choose edit, there is no paste because there's nothing stored in the clipboard. Now let me show you three different ways to merge these together. And by the way, let me know in the comment, what is your preferred method of combining the two images? First way is to use layer blending modes. So with the top layer selected, choose normal. And as we roll over, you'll see how the different layer blending modes cause the two layers to work together. Now maybe something like hard light could be kind of fun to give that nice reflection of the clouds into the water. I have another tutorial where I go more in depth in blending modes, check that out. Method number two, layer masks. Create a new mask. Then we're gonna choose the gradient tool. With the gradient tool selected, go to the top, choose black to white, linear, make sure that set to normal, 100% opacity. And all we do now is click and drag on the masks and that will combine the two layers together. So this can give a fun and interesting result. So I've got a bonus for you. I've got two more ways of combining images. And by the way, if you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my videos. Next method is to simply cut out the image. So go to the magic tools, which would be object selection, quick select or magic wand. And then you'll see an option here that says select subject. Turn that on. With the quick selection tool, just roll over and we can refine this selection. And I have lots more tutorials on making selections. I'll link you to those. Once you've made the selection and you want to create the mask to hide the background, just simply go down to the mask button, click, and now we have a mask. And the last method I'm going to show you is blend if. Let's use blend if, hit effects, blending options. Now this will work on some images better than it will on others, but I just want to show you how it works. Let's choose the underlying layer. Let's split it by hitting the Alt or the Option key and we can pull back and notice how it starts to blend the layers together. If you got any value out of this, hit that like button. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.